Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Today I'm guiding you through a full body yin yoga deep stretch and we'll be focusing on six major fascial lines in the body. So we'll be opening through the back line of our body, the front line of our body, the lateral lines of our body, the spiral lines of the body, and also through the front of the arm lines and the back of the arm lines. So this will be a full body opening and it'll help to really hydrate the connective tissue of the body. So let's get started by bringing some props on hand. So we will be working into saddle pose and you might want to have a bunch of props like cushions, blankets, bolsters on hand for that. And we'll start by bringing a little bit of support underneath our sits bones, letting the pelvis slightly tilt and drop and soften through your toes. And we'll place our fingertips lightly just beside our hips as we drop down into the sits bones. And draw the shoulders back over the hips, feeling a broadening from shoulder to shoulder. And letting your head float over the pelvis. Closing your eyes and breathing in and out. Becoming aware of the fascia in the body, the deeper connective tissues. And sensing and feeling into this interconnected web of tissue through the whole body. This tissue binds, supports every bone and organ of the body. It's like a liquid crystalline matrix bathed in fluids. Sending communications through the whole body, through electrical impulses. Feeling the intelligence of this system. And as we move through our practice, listening to that subtle knowing that arises through the tissues of the body. And then you can open your eyes, perhaps adding a little bit of propping behind your knees to support your lower back. And we're gonna start by opening through the back line of the body, which starts with the tissue bundles at the soles of our feet and draws all the way up the back line of the body over the hips, along the spine, the upper back, neck, and over the head like a hood. So as we fold forward here, just keep that fascial line in mind, letting the body naturally stop where it wants to stop and then adding more support for your head so that you can simply relax here. Noticing any adhesions through the back line of the body. Any areas that feel restricted, dehydrated, stagnant.
And then let that go and soften your awareness into that subtle electrical pulse and fluid motion present in the body. through the collagen fibers, the connective tissue. Noticing the tissue beginning to unwind, almost in a spiral motion, unwinding deeper. And how that ripples through this whole fascial line. Perhaps you can take a prop away from under your knees or under your forehead. Becoming aware of any holding patterns through the back body. Sliding your fingertips back by the hips, take your time to uncurl from this posture. Feeling how the back fascial line of the body helps you to fully sit up straight. And as you're ready, you can cross at the shin bones and we're gonna come down onto our stomach. As you come down to your stomach, you can start by stacking one palm on top of the other and resting your forehead on top of the palms. Sensing and feeling into the front arm line. The front arm lines extending from the chest across to the shoulders. and into the armpits and down the inside line of the arm into the palm. 
And let's start on the left side. So now you can stretch your left palm out in line with your shoulder, your palms facing down. And we're rolling our body over onto the left side body. So you're creating some compression down through the shoulder. You can take your top leg and you can bend it and place the foot behind the leg. If you'd like, you can also bend both knees and just stack knee on top of knee. That's a little bit softer for the lower back. So choose either option. Your right palm stays rooted to the ground under your shoulder to start. And you can adjust the pressure. Make sure there's no pinching through the shoulder or the neck. Please add an extra support for your cheek if you do feel some strain in the neck. If you'd like to deepen, take your right arm and just slide it behind the sacrum. The top shoulder gently opening. Make sure this doesn't feel like too much. Relax your right arm and help yourself back to center. Stacking both palms under your forehead and just feeling the circulation of fluids through the left arm. And then extend the right arm in line with the shoulder. And now we're rolling over to the right side of the body using the left palm like a lever. You can always bind the left arm.
slowly unwinding and coming back to center. Taking a breath in and out. And then slowly drawing back to child's pose with your arms stretched out in front of you just for a few breaths. And then we'll float to all fours, continuing into the arm lines, working into the back of the arm line now. And as we come to our hands and knees, you can always bring a blanket under your knees if you need to. And again, we'll start with the left side. So we're taking our left palm and threading it behind the right. And now we're dropping down to the shoulder, the back of the shoulder. Again, you can add cushioning for your cheek. If this is really hard on your body, come into child's pose and take the same shape with your arms. Start by rooting down through the right palm and gradually apply compression into the left shoulder. Feeling the back of the arm from the shoulder blade across to the back of the shoulder and down the top of the arm. And only if you're feeling really comfortable here, binding the right arm. It's not always necessary, so just make sure you're applying the right amount of pressure. And that pressure that we're applying is hydrating the connective tissue. creating more mobility through the shoulder joint. And root down through the right palm. Take your time to lift and unwind both palms to the floor, rounding your spine, dropping your head. Feeling the release down through the left arm line. And then we'll come back to a neutral spine and we're taking the right arm behind the left wrist and lowering down to the shoulder. Again, you might be binding the left arm now. Please make sure that's not straining your neck.
can also feel that we're getting into the spiral line of the body here as well through the twist. Feeling the spiral line from the shoulder and across the back to the opposite hip. And then rooting down through the left palm, again unwinding, rounding your spine. And take a breath. Rock your head very gently from side to side. And now we're going to come into the front line of the body. The front line of the body draws all the way up from the toes, all the way up into the throat. So to open up through the front line of the body, we're gonna be working into saddle pose. And with saddle pose, some of us might be able to come into saddle pose without any support. I'm not one of those people, I need lots of support. And I really be careful of your knees here. So I'm gonna offer some modifications as we enter into the posture. So if you are setting up some props, I like to work with two props. And I take the bottom prop between the legs, and I give myself a little bit of space to sit down onto the very edge of the prop. And I'm bringing my pinky toes down towards the earth. Okay, so you can kind of see that the heels are just slightly tucked underneath the hips and you can see the tops of your feet. This might actually be enough for many people. You might already feel a nice stretch across the thighs. If you'd like to add a little bit more support you can add a second layer. Make sure that second layer is hugging up towards the tailbone. So you want to feel a connection between your body and that support. And maybe you're just leaning back from here, coming down to your palms and staying kind of lifted. You can still feel a stretch and opening through the tops of the thighs, the hip flexors, up through the abdomen. If you can come all the way back, be mindful of the knees and the lower back. So your lower back is supported. Your head is supported. I'm taking a few breaths. So the front fascia line of the body is helpful for the flexion through the hips. And often holding patterns arise through the front line of the body when we have a tendency to kind of collapse inward, almost in a protective gesture through the body, the curling into the fetal position. And this can be very subconscious, this holding pattern. It can be a reaction to any perception of trauma. Or the need to protect oneself. So noticing what arises here in this posture. Letting that bubble to the surface. Noticing where the tissue may be unraveling through this fascial line. 
Noticing the hips, the organs, the heart, noticing the throat. Can you allow the tissue to unwind through the throat? To come out of this posture, you're moving very mindfully. You can place your palms to the ground some people like to roll over to one side. I prefer to engage the belly and to use my palms, kind of lifting halfway up and then slowly drawing the whole body up. As you come up, we'll release here by coming forward to all fours and you can just slide your props away if you were working with props. And then extend one leg behind you, tuck your toes and pulse the heel towards the back wall. And then switch sides. And now we'll come down onto our back. So you can clear off your mat. Lowering down. Lengthening along the spine and stretching out through the body. And just taking a moment here to feel the fluids flowing through the front line of the body. You can relax your arms in line with the shoulders, taking a breath in and out. And now we'll walk our whole body over towards the left edge of our mat, breathing into the lateral lines of the body. We're walking our feet over towards the right edge of the mat. And you can either just walk the feet over or if you'd like to deepen, Take the left heel on top of the right ankle. And then the whole upper body curves towards the right, creating a C shape through the spine. And you can always take a hold of the left wrist with your right arm, and maybe your head just gently rocks over to the right. The lateral fascial line of the body starts at the outer ankle and draws up the side of the body side of the hip, waist, and kind of zigzagging through the rib cage, and up towards the armpit, side of the neck. And the lateral lines of the body help to maintain balance and equilibrium between the two sides of the body, coordinating our movements. Noticing what happens to the whole interconnective web of tissue as you start to hydrate the side of the body.
I'm feeling to how this fascia line connects into the organs of the body. Remember that we have connective tissue that surrounds each organ, holding that organ in place. And then very softly coming back to center. Releasing that stretch and compression. And scooting your body now all the way over to the right edge of your mat. And we'll work into the second side. And taking the legs and the arms over to the left, creating that C shape through the spine. You might be crossing the heel over the ankle, just letting your head drop over to the right. And you can relax, arms and legs coming to center. Slowly drawing the arms back down, bending through your knees. And let's hug the knees to our chest, lengthening through the lower back.
And now we'll work into the spiral line of the body. So the spiral line runs across the front of the body from one shoulder across the torso to the opposite hip. And as I mentioned before, also through the back body from one shoulder to the opposite hip and also down through the outer leg and to the toes. So we're gonna be taking a twist with our leg extended. So set up some props just off to the left side of your body and we're hugging the right thigh close to the heart and you can extend the left leg forward. Taking a breath and then taking your knee across to the left side. So you're shifting up onto the left hip See if you can stretch out through your leg a little bit here, just resting your palm on top of the leg and then open up across the heart and your left palm opens in line with the shoulder. You can also let your head drop over to the left. Feeling some shearing through the rib cage. and down through the outer hip towards the toes. Letting your head rock back to center. Softly bend the top knee. And take your time to come back to center, both knees bent, soles of the feet to the floor. Transferring your prop over to the right side of your body. And we'll hug our left knee into the chest, extend the right leg forward and then help your knee across over to the right, shifting up to the right hip, and then opening up through your leg a little bit here, finding that extension and feeling down across the hip and the outer leg. Rotating through the chest, softening the opposite shoulder, and maybe dropping your head over to the left.
And let's bring our head back to center. Bending the top knee and shifting onto your back. Bending both knees and taking a breath, inhaling and just slightly lifting your pelvis up, lengthen the tailbone and then roll down, extending both legs out in front of you and drawing your palms open to the sky, wrapping the shoulders beneath you and rock your head from side to side, letting the base of the skull relax on the ground. And just for a moment, tense up through the glutes, make some light fists, squeeze the muscles as you contract, and then exhale and let go, let all the muscles soften and lengthen. Letting your awareness drop back into the connective tissue and the pulse of fluids, the movement of electrical impulses through the whole body. Sensing and feeling this intelligent communication system. Allowing yourself to float in the space of Shavasana for several minutes. You'll naturally reawaken when you're ready to come back into movement. Thank you so much for practicing with me and having a wonderful day. Namaste. For more yoga practices like these, please like this video, comment below, and share this video with a friend. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.